Hello, gentlemen. This is Project Badass Week 3 Recap, and I am here to present you a show, and I am your host, William Kennedy Fallow, and I am here to bring you the Week 3 scores. Yes, so ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn ready, for I am going to deliver a good show for you this week. So, get your seatbelts on for a top-notch thrill ride! In this week's first score, Team Nunziato rebounds from his loss from the Monday Night Miracle of last week as Team Nunziato defeats the Playbook of Eli by a score of 90-81. to 81. Ray Rice leads Team Nunziato to a 20-point victory, while Chris Johnson for uh, the Playbook of Eli scores a disappointing two-point a two-point game. But don't worry, Playbook of Eli. You're only one and two. So keep your head up. You're doing a great job. In this second game of this week, Team Winning fizzles this week as Team Castle defeats Team Winning 67-50. Team Castle gets the pieces back together as Mike Wallace scores an 18-point game against Team Winning. The Eagles' lackluster performance against the Arizona Cardinals this week causes LaShawn McCoy to score 7 points for Team Winning. But don't worry, but don't worry, Team Winning. You are still 2-1. But this week, the Tiger Blood ain't pumping for you this week, brother. In the third score of the week, the Lucky Popcorn Poppers get luck on their side with a second, yes, a second 115 point game as the Poppers defeat Team Karshner 115 to 91. In a last minute decision by the Popcorn Poppers, the Poppers put Philip Rivers on the bench. And started Andrew Luck as it made a 21 point difference to lead the Popcorn Poppers to victory. While Rob Gronkowski, Jordy Nelson, and Victor Cruz band together with a 7 point performance. 
Yes! A seven point performance. Do you think three players of that caliber would come together for more than a seven point performance? <laughs> But don't worry, Team Karshner. You had a respectable loss this week as you scored 91 points. That is a great job, and that will help you in the rankings. And in the fourth game this week, the Beast... Mode Squad loses to my forte is Bush in a 107 to 100 loss. The Bears go into Beast Mode Squad with a 20 point performance this week. And on a lighter note, while Jamal Charles dazzles with a 35-point performance on the bench. <laughs> performance on the bench. If you would have started Jamal Charles Beast Mode Squad, you would have definitely, yes, you would have definitely won the game. Now, this might make you angry a little bit. You know what I mean? That's how the fantasy football week goes. When you think two players will do better, your other running back will get you a beast mode of amount of points. But, in your case, it didn't happen for you this week. And that have, might have made you really upset. Really teething. So I want to do something for you this week. I want you, I want this music to calm you down, Beast Mode Squad. Just breathe in. And breathe out as you listen to the dolphins and the calming music. Just let it calm you down. Jamal Charles scored 35 points and you had him on the bench. But that's okay. Let the music calm you down. Yes, and in the fifth game... Yes, in the fifth game, as I would like to start... This out with a quote made by the convicts last week. And let me get a drink of water here. <clears throat> In the words of the convict, convict's owner, Joey Mina, this week I set my penis towards a new target. The reigning league champion Dwayne Whitebert. Well, the Brute Squad pulls a Lorraine above it as they whack a whack it off with a 115 to 62 victory over the Con Vix. Calvin Johnson leads the Brute 
squad with a 22 point performance. The con the convicts was hoping to catch magic in a bottle this week with Kellen Winslow. But you know what? He wasn't able to catch a ma because he wasn't able to catch a genie in a bottle this week. Wah, wah, wah. Here we go. Sorry, it took me a while to get that up. But the genie says no because Kellen Winslow scores one point. Yep, one point. While Tony Gonzalez had 15, but that wouldn't have made a difference, Joey, because you still got it whacked off. And you got whooped anyway. Now, it is time for this week's award winners. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And the thrashing of the week goes to the convicts as they get their butts kicked by 53 points. Yes, 53 points. You gotta hand it to you, convicts. And that was brought to you by the Brood Squad. And in the second award, as I like to call the Joey Award, the Joey Go Award goes to, in the narrowest of margins, the Beast Mode Squad, as they lose by seven points. Beast Mode Squad, you were that short, but that's all right. And the the team three team of the week award will be shared this week as it goes to the Lucky Popcorn Poppers and the Brute Squad as they both score 115 points this week. It is an honor to share that with the Brute Squad. And, and on the final note, ladies and gentlemen, yes, the road to the Dirt Bag Cup is heating up this week because five teams, five teams are two and one while two teams are one and two. So, it is close. Everybody has got a win, ladies and gentlemen. The road to the Dirt Bag Cup is heating up. And yes, that is all I have for you this week. And I am your host. I am your host, William Kennedy Fallow. And everybody, I want you to have a great week. Yes, a great week. And I am your host. And I am your host, William Kennedy Fallow. You all have a great week. And I leave you with the Dolphins. This is a presentation brought to you by Project Badass. Thank you very much.